Good morning. Good morning, Ace. Happy Monday. Oh, it's another week. Um, it should be a busy week, a busy week for Ace. He's got puppy training classes, plus he has his um, vet appointment this week. So I think he's gonna get his last parvo shot and his rabies shot. So a big appointment for him. And then Mason, hey, off, off, off. Uh, Mason has two baseball games and he also has his basketball banquet this week. So it should be a pretty busy week for the Bevos. But then also Mason is off of school on Friday for spring holiday. We're going into Easter weekend, so Happy Easter weekend, everybody. Hope you, hope, hopefully everybody's having a good Easter. Um, my dog is being a little crazy right now. So I think I'm gonna tend to him. He's currently pulling on my pants legs right now. Excuse me, Ace. This is why you're going to puppy training classes. <laughs> but I'm gonna drink my coffee, get my Monday started to have a good week. Ace, sir, excuse me. Can we have a good week? Say, hey, hey, sit. Can you sit? Sit. Okay. Say yes, mom. I'll I'll behave. Happy Monday. Well, Mason was home for just a little bit, just enough time to get a little bit of homework done, and now I have to bring him to baseball practice. And speaking of baseball practice, um, I got a couple pairs of baseball pants here. Now, you guys, I know that baseball equipment and gear can be so expensive. So what we try to do is pass it down. So I have a friend that has, let's see, it's a 12U player and a 10U player. So I'm going to bring these over to her and hopefully they can get use out of them because they are pretty much in decent shape. Thanks for um, white bright, like um, I'm telling you guys, like this one, you can tell that he was starting to put a hole in the knee there, but for practice, why not? I know if I was a mom, I would totally take hand-me-downs when it comes to um, baseball stuff because it's super expensive. So that's just something that we try to do. But for now, I need to get Mason off to baseball. Where's the doggo? Ace! Ace. Go bye-bye. I'm gonna take Mason. Ace, go bye-bye. You guys see him, he's in the shade. You go bye bye. You want to take Mason to baseball? You go bye bye. Yes. You go bye bye. Okay, we've been working on this. Let's see if I can get him to do it on camera. Okay. Let's see. Ace. Oh, come here. Sit. Hey, he's a little excited now. Sit. Good boy. Lay down. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. So if you guys watched. Um, the vlog where I took him to puppy training classes. She wanted me to do something a little bit different than we had been training him for as far as laying down because we were taking a treat and breaking our backs and going all the way to the ground. And so she wants us to just stand up and say lay down. And that way we're not breaking our backs. So he's doing it. I'm so proud of him. So this whole week I've been practicing, but I think, I think he's got it down. That's a good boy. Yes. Good boy, Ace. Oh, you got modesty? Ooh, steals. It's a lot of steals. Yeah. You're doing your, I did. Doing your second uh, fantasy baseball draft? Yes. This is with all your buddies, right? Uh huh. How's it going? Uh, pretty good so far. Alright. Happy with your team thus far? Yeah. Alright. Well, I'll let you focus. I'll let you focus. Thank you. Happy Tuesday! Puppy training day! Hey, Ace. You ready to go to class? It's almost time. Feed him lunch and then we'll have to head out. Um, unfortunately, Mason's game, he was supposed to have a g baseball game tonight, got canceled because there's no umpires. So possibility of doing a doubleheader tomorrow instead of playing tonight. So poor kid has practice instead. That stinks when you think that you're gonna have um, a game and then it turns into practice, but that's okay. He also has his basketball um, banquet tonight. So maybe it kind of works out a little bit better because at least with practice, I think he'll get home earlier than if he would have had a game. So then we're not rushing to his banquet tonight. So we'll see. I'm sure we'll probably still be rushing to the banquet, but that's okay. If he's in baseball clothes, he's in baseball clothes. It's what it is. Hey, are you going to be lazy for class today? Do you want food? You want food? 
That always gets them up. Yes? You're gonna do good today? You show off everything that you've been learning? Hey, can you sit? Can you sit? There we go. Can you lay down? Lay down. There it is. Good boy. And then we're gonna learn new stuff today, huh? All right, let's get you some food. We're back from Ace's puppy training classes and today we learned leave it. Did we learn anything else? We just kind of reviewed some other stuff that we um, learned last week, like lay down, which um, Ace is funny. Like he can do it at the house, like you've seen it on the vlog, um, but you get into the class with other crazy dogs and the um, trainer, he kind of gets shy, it's really weird, but she can tell that he knows what he's doing and that he's doing at home. So she said, keep up the good work. Um, the only thing she did say is that he needs a haircut, you guys. Ace, you ready for a haircut? Which I've been meaning to call the groomer. I think I've decided on where I wanna take him. So I need to get him in. Um, like I've been saying, this week he gets his final um, parvo shot and rabies shot so i think it's definitely time to get him into the groomers but she said something about trimming at least around his eyes so that he can see us and we can see his eyes better it'll help with our training so about ready to call the groomer um i'm kind of sad though hopefully if we do uh, make an appointment that they only just trim up a little bit because i don't want him to be like shaved down which i don't think he will because i've been really good about um brushing him every day you guys i brush him and comb him out every day so Hopefully he has no mats, because I know that's a big problem with doodles. Good job, good class. Now he's tuckered out. Have a good nap. Good afternoon, happy Wednesday. You guys, it's gonna be a long day for Mason. He had school the entire day, and then he has a double header. Um, I'm actually starting to pack up. It is also very hot today, um, close to 90 degrees. I think by Easter, we might hit 100 degrees. So not ready, but then it seems like we go back into our beautiful 80 degree weather. But today it's gonna be hot, so I'm just kind of packing up. I think I'm gonna borrow Mason's Hydro Flask so my water can stay nice and cold. A hat to protect my face from the sun. And desert life, you know, a jacket, just in case. It cools off once the sun goes down. Um, I just gave Ace his busy mat with some bananas and blueberries on it. And I'm gonna have to take him out for a walk. Um, but hopefully Jack's home soon. I do think that we're gonna have to drive separate today um, just in case I need to come home because we've never left Ace in the crate. Well, I think four hours is probably the longest that we he's been in his crate or right around four hours. Um, so you guys know double headers will be gone longer than four hours. So I might have to come home, which kind of stinks, but it's the responsibility that we uh, took on when we decided to get that guy that's okay uh, but we'll see if he's sleeping because we do have the camera on his crate if he's sleeping i'll just kind of stay until he starts getting restless because we're also going to be there during dinner time for him but i'll take him for a walk and then hopefully jack's home and we can head out to mason's game and hopefully he has no homework um last night was a late night for him because he had baseball well he had school baseball practice and then we had his basketball um banquet which went really good you guys it was fun I had a good time and then he came home and had to do homework so he didn't get to bed it was probably 10 o'clock and he wanted to be to bed earlier than that because he knew he had a long day today but it is what it is schoolwork is definitely comes first and most important hey buddy how was your bananas Ate off hey do you want to go for a walk for the next couple of clips hopefully is Mason's double header Get through, get through, get through. Tag, 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 tag. Get over, get over, get over. There you go. Hey, boy, hey, way to do your job, Mason. Way to do your job, Mason, RBI. Come out. Touch. Oh, ho. Tag. Stay with it. There you go, boys. Go. Come on. Get through there. Good morning. Happy Thursday. It's opening day for baseball. <laughs> Who's excited? Um, who's going to be watching baseball all day? 
I'm gonna try, but Ace has his vet appointment at some point today, so I, I got that going on. Good morning, Mason, are you excited for opening day? Yes, it's, I'm, it's opening day, I'm do you very, even know how exciting this is? I'm very excited for opening day. That's <laughs> all right, let's see the shirt. All awesome. right, all right. I like it, I like it. Um, about ready to take Mason off to school. He just said, I wonder if I can figure out a way to watch baseball today at school. Um, no, sir. You need to learn and get smart not watch baseball today. But you'll be home sooner than later. I'm sure there's games on tonight, right? Mm -hmm. um, and no school tomorrow, so you can watch baseball all day tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> all right, let's get this kid off to school. And then we gotta get you off to the vet. You ready for this, Ace? You be a good boy. You be a good boy, okay. Two shots today. Two shots. You got this. Just waiting for the vet to come in. Good job, buddy. Tugger it out. Ugh, going to the vet, so stressful. He did good. He is fully vaccinated. Yay! Um, the only thing he said that if we decide to do a trip and board him, that there's another, um, like a board shot, I think maybe, um, kettle cough I, I'm not even for sure but if we take a trip this summer we'll have to go get him and one more shot before um, I board him but you guys he weighs like 31 point something pounds he was a little excited and his tag uh well but his tail was wagging if I can speak holy moly um so the the scale kind of like fluctuated but I think she ended up putting 31 pounds even but i saw it go up to like 31.2 at one point so he's a big boy but he did good he's all vaccinated so that's good yay mason is home from practice how was practice good he's jealous of me because i got to watch baseball all day day to, all day today um what's up with that see the phillies ended up winning Great game to watch, but I was flipping between the Phillies game and the Diamondbacks game. Diamondbacks tried, it was a good game. Four home runs in one inning. <laughs> that was crazy, but we ended up losing. That's okay, I'm still gonna wear my Diamondbacks shirt today proudly. Um, Happy so, opening day. Yes. Did you um, announce that already? This, of course, this morning. Happy it's like, opening day. It's like Christmas here in the Bevo house. Yes. Um, we have this big box here, I think, we're about ready to open it. We're not gonna open it. No, we're it's just fine. gonna stare April it. April Fools! Oh, oh, I yeah. see what you did there. It is April Fools today too, that's but true. we are gonna open it, yes. Speaking of baseball, baseball related. Uh, so before we even talk about this, or what we're doing there, I gotta talk to all of the dads and people about my age. So, okay. when I was about his age, about monthly, every other month, a magazine would show up in the mail, addressed to me, and it was like a, Christmas checklist for athletes, and it was the East Bay Magazine. I don't think, they might still send out the actual magazine now, but it would come every so often at the house, and I would be like a kid at Christmas. I'd be like, I want this, I want this, I want this. So shout out to East Bay, something that I've loved and used since I was probably, I couldn't even tell you, probably 13, 12, 13 years old. Because it was always addressed to me, and I got so excited, because I never got any mail, obviously, as a kid, but it would be addressed to me. So you don't even know what that is, probably. Mm -hmm. Mail? Do you know what that is? Yeah. Not an email. E actually, He's no, like, I'm kidding. Email? I'm kidding. Mailbox. But yeah, so it was, I was really cool when they reached out. And now we'll talk about what's going on here. So. If you couldn't tell already, this package is from East Bay. <laughs> it is from East Bay, yes. And it's something that they reached out and talked about a campaign they're doing. And I was like, wow, how has nobody thought of this already. It's an incredible concept and an incredible idea. So what they're doing at East Bay on their website, links down below, use those links. Their, their campaign is called Baseball by Color. Genius, okay? Mason's high school team, you guys are on a club team, you're on whatever, a neighborhood team, little league team, whatever. Baseball by Color. So you go to the website, you get all different options. So, you feel blue, you feel white. So, yeah, we, Mason and I wore different color shirts here today. Black, red, so, orange, red, orange, yellow. Yeah. Actually, I can show you guys. Green. Baseball by color. Red. And you just pick your color. Orange. Pick out yellow. Orange. Green. Royal. Navy. Purple. Gray. Black. White. Gold. So, they narrow it all down for you. So, you say, my club team is. Royal blue. My high school team is gray. 
my club team is red. Boom, you click right on that, it takes you to, and it filters everything in that color scheme. Makes it much easier to shop. Oh. Gloves, everything. Cleats, tires. Anything you would think of, it was so cool. I was like, I was just clicking all different colors. I'm like, well, let's see what this does, red. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. But it just makes shopping incredibly easy. It's, it's such a, I, like I said, I, I, I can't even say it. It's a genius concept. So any of you guys that are on any baseball team, it is perfect. Click your baseball by color, find your particular color, and it filters everything for you. Now, having said that. Yes, let's get to the goods. Mason, what color scheme did you pick? Obviously, he's Rocky. Navy. So he picked Navy, obviously. So Mason is going to show you his top five Navy things that he picked out. And there was, this was just like tip of the iceberg. There were so many other choices. Mm -hmm. It was actually hard for him to pick a top five, but he went need plus cool and all that good stuff. So Mason's gonna give you his top five Navy items, starting at number five. Coming in at number five. Mason's got his top five right now. We're starting I'll slide off this out of the way for you. A water jug. Always an essential. Yeah. Especially during Arizona hot summer. He was actually just talking about how hot it was in practice. I know. So, Always for, need water. And for those of you that have been following for a long time, you know going back to his 90 days, I probably, 80 days, yeah. this has been his preferred jug of choice. Holds ice in 115 yeah. degree weather. The Under Armour, he loves it. We have, I think we have a red one and two different black ones and now obviously. And it hangs right on the fence. Got a navy one, it's perfect, hangs on the fence. Yep. So Mason is a big fan. So that is number five. Do I need to be the, sure. the radio voiceover guy? Sure, why not? At number four. Starting at number four. <laughs> four, we got a cage jacket. Nice. Jacket with the long sleeve. Fancy. Okay, let's do it. Let me save you. Oh yeah, thanks. Good trouble here. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that's nice. Fire. Very nice. So that's Easton. So Under Armour, Easton so far. Okay. So there you go, I like that. Looks good. Yeah. Nice. It's a little light cage hitting jacket, so that's number four. Coming in at number three. <laughs> we got a baseball bag. Okay, so it's Rawlings, right? More assistance. <laughs> so now we've got Rawlings, three different brands. This is navy it's blue. Same color. We've got the little pouch up here. We've got the little foam pouch right here, you know what I'm saying? Man, we might have to do another bag review or what's in Mason's bag. So a little bit smaller bag. A little um, smaller, maybe if I go to the cages or hitting, yep. I can stick my bats, my storage in here. Yeah, two little slots for the bat. bats. Yeah. Bats on the okay, side here. Yep. Zipper action there. So. That's a nice bag. It's a really nice bag. Very nice. There's Check gotta up. be, there it is. There's the, the mark main, of the pro. The bats. Okay. Very cool. Very awesome bag. So this would be perfect for, I mean, you can use it as your main bag. He carries a lot of gloves. So this would be more of like a cage bag for this dude, something along those lines. Mm -hmm. So there's my top three, or five, four, three so far. We got, I'm pretty sure you know what these are. Mm -hmm. New balance. But are the turfs in a minute? Let's see. Uh, -da -da. Ooh, those are fancy. Those I are, like those. Like, new turfs right here. Look how shiny Fire. and new so they the are. other ones get old and dusty and or messed feet up. Grow. Or yeah. my feet grow. These bad boys are coming into play. <laughs> so these we actually went up like a half size for Mason. So yep. yeah. he can grow it in a little bit, but those are crispy. Those are the new, new balance. We into these shoes a little bit. And also, I think for number one, we can also throw into these shoes. Ooh, you see the name there. I do, I do. What's the name? Hmm? It's only one, what, what, what? Okay, ready? Ready. We got some metal Harpers. Wow. So Harpers design, by the way, is metal in the front, molded in the back right here. Those so are sharp. Gotta try these bad boys out. Nice. So, so Mason's been eyeballing these for quite a while. Yeah. And then obviously with Let's the- give it a try. With the navy theme. Man, those are oh, fancy. 
Let's with look the at navy this. theme. It was look at the back. The, the perfect time to try them. Those are nice, Mason. Mr. Harper got a win today. Yes, yes he did. He did. All right, well there's Mason. Like it was super easy, like Jack said. He went on the website and picked his five items. Bam, bam, bam. Easy peasy. Yes. Made shopping easy for you. Shout out to East Bay. Thank yes, you. Thank you, so East much. Bay. So cool. Um, like we said, links down below. Pause this video, go check it out, and then come back and watch the rest mm -hmm. of this video. You'll probably get lost over there for a while. We did. <laughs> I know we did for quite some time, but yes, awesome choices, all different options cool thing that they're doing there and just a great idea for any of you guys that play baseball and you wouldn't be watching if you weren't into baseball so go check it out links down below okay right, so I was removing the box off I looked in the box <laughs> look what I found there you go this is the magazine I was talking about <laughs> however this is a special one because this one actually has the baseball by color edition mm. so I used to get these all the time as a kid ordered a bunch of stuff and then like so right here they got the there's obviously way more options than this on the website but this is just a quick little little boom all the red red uh orange, orange yellow yeah. that's cool green purple hmm that Wait. looks familiar yeah navy so like um yeah this was in the bag purple gray the white so very cool. This is the magazine I was talking about because this used to show up and I would literally go, that, look at that. I want that, I want that, I want that. And obviously go to the website. I'm sure you can request one of these, but this is fire. I'm gonna keep this for me since <laughs> this is for me. <laughs> but once again, shout out to East Bay. Link's down below, so cool. Thanks for the top five and shout out to East Bay. All right, who wants dinner? I know these guys are hungry. That'll work. Time for <laughs> dinner. Taco Thursday. Good Friday. It was a good Friday, you guys. Mason was off of school. He's currently at baseball practice, though. Um, so I would say I was able to sleep in, but no, the dog was up on the dot, just like if the alarm was going off for school. Even though I thought ahead and turned the alarm off yesterday, the dog was still up, so I was up. But that's fine. But with Mason being home, you guys, I was able to go on a run, but I've been doing at-home workouts and then lots of walks with the dogs. But since Mason was here, I went for a two-mile run and I almost died. I'm not even gonna lie. I almost threw up my oatmeal <laughs> and it's super hot. It's, um, we're gonna be hitting almost 100 degrees um, this weekend, so I think we're gonna be in our swimsuits for Easter. It is what it is. Gotta love Arizona. But anyways, yeah, so Mason is off at um, baseball practice, I actually went to the grocery store. Want to see our groceries? <laughs> Does anybody else do this? I just like unbag them all, throw everything on the counter, and then eventually put them in its spot. So I need to do that. Um, Jack is currently editing the Friday night grind right there for him. I think we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog. Happy Easter, everybody. Hope you all having a good weekend. I'm looking forward to this weekend. Um, should be fun. Get to see my family. Last Easter is when COVID hit and you know nobody got to see anybody, so we just did Easter here by ourselves, but we'll get to be with family this, this holiday season, so it's good time. Um, is that it, Jack? I think we're gonna end the vlog. Thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, comment something in the comment section, and we will see you next time.